Well, a big day in South African politic, uh, political landscape, that is. National Assembly will vote on the no-confidence motion against President Jacob Zuma today. Parliament is already a hive of activity. President Jacob Zuma held a meeting with his cabinet colleagues ahead of this crucial vote. ANC caucus also held a meeting this morning. Meanwhile, the SACP has declared its support for President Jacob Zuma in the no-confidence motion. The ruling party's alliance partner has around 17 members in parliament on ANC ticket. Uh, streets around parliament are filled with pro-Zuma as well as anti-Zuma marches. Well, let's get the latest details now for, from those various marches. For that, we are joined by ANN7 reporter Cindy Siwetwala, who is currently uh, following the pro-Zuma march. Good afternoon to you, Cindy. Just talk us through and a quick recap of what's transpired so far today. Also, what the expectation is for the rest of the afternoon. What's happening on the ground? A very good afternoon yet again. As we've been speaking to different uh, members of parliament who have been coming out, telling us, uh, basically giving us snippets of what was discussed at the caucus and that they themselves are saying that irrespective of what opposition parties are saying, that they're going to be voting according to the party line. I have with me a Sanko uh, member, who's basically, which is basically a civil organization group, who's going to be telling us from his point of view what exactly is anticipating, because I'm seeing him dressed in African National Congress regardless. I'm going to ask my cameraman to pan to him quickly so that I can first describe from the top of his head going uh, down. He's basically dressed in African National Congress regalia in support of this particular crowd today where I'm situated, which is at the Grand Parade, where different African National Congress uh, supporters are stationed. A very, very good day. It's quite a lengthy intro, right? Uh, I'm talking to Upe Yehadere. Tell us, from your view, I see you dressed in all green, all yellow. From your view, what can we expect today and what is Senko's mandate today? We are here to reaffirm and pledge our solidarity to the African National Congress. You will recall in 2014, overwhelming majority of the South African, more than 11 million voters supported the African National Congress. So we are saying no secret ballot formed against the African National Congress shall prosper. We are here as the masses of the people prepared to take the bull by its horn in defense of our democracy. Those that want to lead, they must not do so through secret ballot. They must wait until the next uh, national election. If they command support, then they will be able to lead, not through secret ballot. So we are here to say we are still in support. We believe in the African National Congress. We are not here to support individuals. We are here to support the oldest liberation movement in the continent, the African National Congress. And then uh, since you're also from a civil organization group, so we know that a lot of other civil organization groups have come out in numbers saying that the president must step down and so forth. Can we expect uh, also other civil organization groups joining with the African National Congress today to be in support of MPs, to be in support of Jacob Zuma? Yes, we've been through the length and breadth of the province pledging and calling for support from all civic organizations. We are a progressive revolutionary civic organization. We associate ourselves with the African National Congress because that's where our aspirations and aims can be achieved. African National Congress is the liberation movement for the poor. So we're expecting more than a, a one civic organization to come and support the call that no secret ballot for the African National Congress shall prosper. Thank you so much. That was Peggy from Sanko, which is, which is a civil organization group, uh, dressed in all things yellow, dressed in all things green, basically also celebrating or in anticipation of that particular vote that is going to be taking place at two. More and more ANC members are coming here. We're also seeing that some MPs are also being allowed into this particular precinct. There's a lot of security here, a lot of police officials also to assist in this particular particular call back to you in studio. Cindy, now you are following the pro-Zuma march uh, currently taking place today as we anticipate that motion of no confidence in President Jacob Zuma set to take a place at around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Yesterday we saw uh, Baleka Mbete announcing that that motion will take place uh, in a secret ballot. What's been the reaction from the Zuma supporters uh, that you've got an opportunity there to interact with and interact, uh, yeah, interact with there so far? Pardon us for the exchange. People are excited here. 
all queuing and wanting to speak about the African National Congress and what exactly is going to be happening. And they're, 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 they're actually wanting to support MPs, wanting to come out to numbers to show that the masses that had elected them earlier on are still here in numbers to continue rallying behind those MPs as well as their leader, President Jacob Zuma. From what we've made from speaking to people off air, because a lot of people here are shy, but the leadership here, they've basically been telling us that they are, are in support of Jacob Zuma, they are in support of those MPs who are going to be supporting him, and they frown upon MPs who are not going to be supporting him, because according to them, uh, according to them, that is not what they've been elected for. No MP, according to the people we've spoken to, was elected uh, uh, by them to be an MP, but they were elected, deployed rather, by the ANC to be MPs. But just to continue this conversation, I have another guest on with me. He's going to introduce himself and basically tell us his views on this particular day. A very, very good afternoon to you. Could you please quickly introduce yourself and tell us how, what exactly your view is of this particular march? My name is Njabulo Nzuza. I am the Secretary General of the ANC UTLIC. Uh, we are here uh, in Cape Town to show support uh, for the African National Congress that today what we have seen is a confederation of opposition parties who want to take a power through a back door because they are failing to be patient to test the electoral support of their support from the people and they have come here to try and dislodge the ANC. But it is unfortunate that today they will sleep with an egg on their face because it's not going to happen. By the end of today, the president will still be president, the cabinet will still be intact, the ANC will prove to be united, we will move forward and continue with the agenda of making the lives of our people better. All right, and then your views on the list that opposition claims to have of about 60 or so MPs that have basically vowed to them wherever they were speaking that they might possibly vote with opposition? I don't know what uh, they've been smoking, but they are very delusional. It's not going to happen. Members of the ANC understand the task at hand. Those people who are in parliament can think, yes, there are issues that people might raise, but today is a test of unity. The ANC will be united today. And just another one, putting on the spot predictions as how many will vote with the ANC, how many will vote with the opposition. We know that the numbers are currently 150, not 51 anymore, because there's one MP who's in hospital and 149 for the opposition. Your predictions? We are very excited and we are saying uh, all members of the ANC will vote with the ANC. That's what we are here to say. All members of the ANC will vote with the African National Congress because they joined the organization voluntarily. And you can see the excitement here that everyone is supporting the ANC. The few white people who are standing there parading their cars that they want to protect their interests are not going to succeed. Thank you so much. That was the African National Congress Youth League Regional Secretary also basically weighing in on this particular conversation and what we can expect. Him as well saying that according to him, his prediction is 250 for the ANC, 149 for the opposition remains. Back to you in studio. Well, thank you very much, uh, Cindy. Let's leave it there for now. We'll check in with you later this afternoon for further details and developments. ANN7 reporter Cindy Siwetwala coming to us uh, from the pro-Zuma march.